so I am here today uh, with my dad. Oop, say hi, dad. Okay, so we are here at Philippe's, which is one of my favorite restaurants in Los Angeles. I've been coming here since, oh my god, I don't know, like before I was born, basically. So it's, um, I've been here a lot. But it's still always kind of up in the air as to how much insulin I'm supposed to give myself for a meal like this because there's no nutritional label to work off of. And so I'm going to kind of hopefully give you a little insight into some of the factors that I weigh when determining how much insulin to give myself and for any type of meal. All right. <laughs> See you inside. Okay, so um, eating out is tricky because none of this stuff comes with any sort of carb counter or um, nutritional guidelines. So basically I have to look at something like this and guess, right? So here's my meal at Philippe's, which I love, and I'll tell you how I kind of come up with numbers. So basically I just tested my blood sugar and um, it's 85, right? 87 right now. So it's it's in the good range, but I also ate a bag of chips earlier to pull myself back up because I thought I was tanking. So that's on my mind. Then I look at something like this and I realize that like this bread probably needs at least two units, maybe three units of insulin. Um, I did want lemonade because it's awesome here and so that's another unit of insulin. But things like um, your coleslaw, basically the, it's cabbage. There's really no units of insulin needed for that. Um, so all in all, I, what I'm looking at is probably about like three to four units of insulin. I think because knowing I'm low, I'm going to err on the side of caution and only give myself three units for this meal. Um, so yeah, so actually I'm going to grab my insulin, uh, my insulin pump, hit the bolus. See it says 87 right there. And I say I am going to take about 45 grams of carbs, plug that in. It tells me it, I should take 22.7. I think I should take three. So there it is. Um, now I can eat. And fingers crossed, two hours from now, there will be a good reading. All right, thanks. I really wanted to be stable um, to show you how I, I carb count and such, but uh, I realize now that maybe it's a good thing that I was unstable before. So I kind of want to tell you some of the thoughts that are running through my head now that I'm I'm done eating. So um, I finished the sandwich, but um, lemonade's still here, and I'm I'm not really planning on on eating it. Um, and so. I gave myself three units of insulin, and some of the things on my mind are, I was tanking um, before this meal, I was at 80, feeling like I was going to go low, and then half an hour later, after a bag of chips, I was still at 87. So that's still running through my system, and I gave myself six units, uh, 0.6 units of insulin to, for like the bag of chips as like a kind of buffer before this meal, then I gave myself three units for this meal. Um, my insulin pump said take 2.7, but... Basically, I'm just trying to explain that there's a lot of numbers jumbled around in my head. And right now, because I didn't have, I'm thinking because of the bread, I would give myself more. But because I didn't drink the lemonade, I'm not going to give myself any more and kind of see where I go. So the only thing to do now is just basically wait and test my blood sugar in like an hour, hour and a half or something like that. And see, see what the trend is and um, make a guess again on, on how much I should have at that moment um, and going forward um, based upon what I know I have to do for the rest of the day. So I hope that gives you a little bit of insight as far as what eating out is like. I love eating out. I eat out a ton and it's always this kind of delicate, weird math equation that's not specific and more gray than ever black and white. So... Um, but the sandwich was great. <laughs> the sandwich is delicious, and lunch with my dad is wonderful. So I hope that gives you a little more insight into how we have to kind of calculate on a daily basis uh, what we're eating and the insulin we need for it, and why it's impossible, as Wikipedia says, to uh, know exactly how much to give and when and of what. All right, cheers.